Welcome to another video where we're talking about the one-click Mastodon installer. And this is on Reclaim Cloud. And it might be worth taking a moment to say, once you install your Mastodon instance on Reclaim Cloud, there are still some settings you have to do that depend upon other services. In particular, running transactional emails so that if people sign up for your server, they get an email and that's delivered cleanly. And that's often called SMTP transactional email. We'll look at this, where you would enter the settings for that and give you some recommendations on a provider. And then there's the offloading of media. And um, where do you store media? If you're planning on running a fairly decent sized or even a small um, Mastodon server, the media accumulates quickly. That's part of the kind of design of the Federation is it caches and stores media from all these other servers on your server. So they're kind of um, accessed more easily. But this means that your storage can blow up. So in this video, we'll just be showing you how do you configure those environmental variables from those third party services in your Mastodon on Reclaim Cloud. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. We'll start with the Mastodon um, documentation. So this is a page um, on the docs.joinmastodon.org, basically where you um, configure your environment. Um, there's a more general page, and I'll go to that, called Configuring Your Environment. And you'll see here, it has things like um, basic questions around federation, secrets, deployment, some of the ones we'll look at is because Postgre, Redis, all of the kind of stack stuff is taken care of for, for you by the cloud setup. It's stuff like SMTP email delivery and file storage that is not. That's something you would most likely need to set up in order for your service to run as you want. So those are the ones um, we'll talk a little bit about and we'll look at how um, Mastodon discusses them, and then I'll show you where you would update those settings on the one-click installer Mastodon on Reclaim Cloud. Okay, so the first one to look at might be um, the object storage. So object storage is basically often referred to as S3, um, made very popular by Amazon Web Services S3 service. And then other services kind of took on that, like DigitalOcean Spaces, Cloudflare has one called R2, and you can see next to me a whole bunch of different options. Minio is a nice open source option. All this is, is it's basically abstracting out file storage from a specific server. So files have their own space where they're delivered from. Um, that's not on usually the server where the application is being hosted. And this is very important, as I said earlier, for Mastodon because Mastodon can accumulate a lot of files really quickly, which could create issues with your server storage. So it's much better and cheaper to put that on a third party service like S3 or DigitalOcean Spaces. Um, you'll notice here, which is interesting, they don't even mention AWS as S3. They start with Minio, which is open source, and then go to Wasabi. DigitalOcean, Scaleway, Exoscale, Cloudflare. I've had the most luck with DigitalOcean Spaces. It's the easiest to use, um, the most user-friendly, and it's really pretty affordable, um, about five bucks a month, depending upon your size, which, you know, it, it is a deal. So that's that. And then this um, document, which you can find at docs.joinmastodon.org, um, will take you through um, a, what the file system is, how it works. You really don't want to use their file system. You want to use object storage on another service. And then they, they show you these settings here, like S3 enabled, S3 bucket, AWS access key, and that really works across all these services. Basically, it's your access key and your secret key. These are basically um, fields of information that you will need once you set it up on whatever service you choose. So they list that out and they explain this. So this is very useful. And like storage for um, S3, there's also the question of how do you get your email going? And there's a series of very similar kind of um, fields that you will need 
um, for a third party service that delivers your email. I don't have too much more experience other than Mailgun, which is what we've been using extensively. Mailgun is pretty much recommended for services like Ghost, where you use transactional email, and Mastodon seems to point people towards Mailgun. Um, Mailgun is pretty affordable. Again, um, if you're doing a fairly small server, it may even be free. And here are the various um, fields that you'll need once you set up your Mailgun server. We have other tutorials that deal with setting up uh, Mailgun. Um, so I would look for them. I'm sure there's a ton online, but keep in mind there are certain variables you will need once you set up both S3 and Mailgun. You are gonna need to add to Mastodon. So let's go and look at that. Um, so we're gonna limit it here just to uh, transactional email and S3, and we're gonna go to our environment where the one-click Mastodon is, and then we're gonna actually go to this little wrench. And this is a file system, kind of like the file manager in a service like cPanel. And you'll notice on the on this side, I don't know if it's your left or right, it's my, I'm even confused because of, <laughs> of mirroring. So I'm not even gonna say, you're gonna go right here on this side to Mastodon. And you're gonna go from that, which is favorited. So you'll always see that there when you open up um, this file manager you're gonna see an environment file or a .env file. This is the file where you're gonna add the, those variables from whatever service you use. So if I click here to that little wrench or that little cog and I click open, this will then, and I'll kind of uh, remove myself from this shot so it's a little bit clearer. Uh, so let me do that. So here you'll see it has some of the basic setups. You'd never want to change your domain here because that will break things, but you can, this is your let's encrypt email, all of which is done for you with the one click installer. Um, it has various concurrency and threads. If you want to kind of play with that, you can, I would read up more on that. But here is the mail settings. So this is for the transactional email. And you'll see it has these variables like SMTP login, password, what's the from address, etc. This is all stuff once you set up your Mailgun account and create an email for this service, you're gonna wanna enter here. Same is true for the S3 storage, S3 enabled, S3 protocol, S3 bucket region, all of this stuff you're gonna enter and then save the file and restart or basically spin down and spin back up the um, Mastodon instance. One of the things to keep in mind is there's several variables here, but if I go back to configuring your environment, say for configuring object storage, you'll notice there's more, right? All of the variables that are listed in our environment are not all the variables you may be able to use. So keep that in mind. You may be able to add an alias or other variables that aren't listed here. So be sure to consult the documentation. And I believe that's also true for email. So even though we have a series of variables listed here, you could also want, you could also add more depending if they're available. So this is where you would update the transactional email, the S3 storage. Once you did, you would save that file. I have nothing to save because I didn't add anything. But the final piece, which is pretty important, is once everything's said and done and you made your changes to variables, you would then need to kind of spin down and spin back up the instances. And um, I believe, let me just let me just confirm as much, that in the uh, Mastodon tutorial that Taylor did, he has a really good um, command that will do this for you. And it is true. So this is, the, um, this is the guide Taylor wrote, and I'll link it in the video notes, and as well as I'll link all the admin configuring your environment stuff from Docker I referenced here. And you'll see this. This is where you can spin the container down and then up again. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go into my Reclaim Cloud SSH web root access, and that's gonna compose down. So that's basically taking those Docker 
instances and bringing them all down. And then the next line in this uh, terminal instance is saying, hey, Docker compose up detach. So bring everything up and detach it. And we are, and that's it. And once you make any changes to the environment file, you always need to spin the Docker instance down and then spin it back up. That's always gonna be a requirement. Um, so this is just basically a very quick tutorial, tutorial to give you a sense of A, what configurations you have to do after using the one-click installer, namely S3 storage and transactional email, B, where you add those variables once you set them up in your Mastodon instance. And that is in the .env file or the environment file um, within your Docker container. Hopefully this helps you get started with your Mastodon. But as always, if you have any questions, reach out to Reclaim Hosting Support. All right. Thanks again.